Once your workflow stages and user roles are defined, you can apply the workflow logic to your canvas. It should help you manage this process by understanding what part the diagram plays. An app's workflow diagram is interrogated whenever an instance is submitted. The system will always know the current stage an instance is at, and for new cases submitted, that will be the defined default stage or starting point. The system will identify the pathways leaving the stage and, importantly, the conditions on those pathways. If a condition is true, the path will be followed. As a result of the path being followed, any behaviour attached to the path will be triggered, and the instance will move to the stage at the other end of the path. While we can add many different behaviours onto a workflow path, the important one from the workflow perspective is the notify command. That command will let the recipient know that they have an instance waiting to process and will typically provide them with a link to open that instance. So to add the workflow logic to your app, you need to define for each pathway a condition that will trigger the instance to move to the next stage and a corresponding behaviour that includes a notification to the next person or people involved in the process. In the following few tutorial videos, we will demonstrate the different elements of applying the workflow logic to the canvas.